Hey there, it's Pancat again with another look at a BAM fight in Terra. This Nakarosh guy here that we're fighting is a basically a juggernaut, but he uh, is a named diversion for a quest. He's right outside this town. He's not as strong as a real juggernaut, but he's stronger than like a Naga mercenary. But he's gonna have the same uh, abilities: the the ground pound. The axes, or the yeah, the axes in the in the ground up close to whoever he's meleeing. The ranged shot, and he hops back and tries to shoot something at you. Uh, that's kind of the ground pound there. The tail swipe, I do believe he does, etc., etc. There's the random jump around, which is probably the most dangerous thing they do. They do. Uh, I don't. I think in any of these videos, I ever get hit by that, but. When we were off doing suppression quests and whatnot, we I did get hit by that a couple of times, especially on the juggernauts, which look like this guy, but are the general mobs down in the south part of this zone. Man, it hurts. It's not it's not fun when that acts, when that hits you. Um, of course, the lancer's holding aggro very well. I don't think he'll ever get on me. He uh, ground pound. There you go takes a little, he started to go through a little bit of the shields there a little bit, but nothing a little AoE healing couldn't take care of. Now, he's going to do, I think, like the rest of them did. When he gets really low, he's going to run off like that. And kind of almost daze and stuff. I think that's when they're kind of weak and stuff. So you want to, you do want to hit them when they're like that. The Lancer is more worried about getting him in a good position where we don't get anything else on us. Or we don't run the risk of him bouncing off and getting too far away from where we started. That's kind of why he likes to... He's not so much worried about damage, even though it's just the two of us. is just keeping control of the situation. And, and I think that's the right way to play. That's why we, I bring you in at, you know, 25%, 50% health. So you just don't have to sit through all that. It's a lot of... Oh, look at that. I'm shooting this thing in the ass while the Lancer holds its aggro with like a vehement strength or something so that's why we don't do a lot of that I'm not even sure if he's gonna enrage in this when he does enrage there you go I got hit by him backing up that wasn't pleasant uh, when the juggernauts the, the basically the Nagas with armor on when they enrage the little runes on his tail there and like the runes on his armor they light up and that's how you know he's, he's extra pissed off and that just means, you know, if he does hit you, it's going to hurt a lot more than it would before. But it's very simple. I, I, I really think a good team of two can, could handle it. I, I haven't really played a DPS in class yet. I imagine even if it was with a tank, especially a Lancer, because I know a Lancer has a self-heal. It's on a minute cooldown, but even even a tank DPS would probably make short work of these. Uh, probably a, a healer DPS would too. Just, you know, playing it safe and knowing, knowing how to play and where to stand and things like that are always really important. And it doesn't take long when you fight a BAM to figure out, oh, he is enraged, there you go. But we're going to kill him before he really gets to do anything. And that just gives you a quick glimpse that, you know, fighting these guys and what to do and how it works and that a duo can do it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for more.